It is the month June in India. It is too hot to talk about hots, but we must ask educators for the benefit of our students. Hi, I'm Lina Bhaskar. I'm an educator by profession. I've been teaching science for past 23 years. I love to make videos related to primary science and education. Welcome to my channel. In a pen paper test, nearly 10% of the weightage is given to questions that are based on thoughts or higher order thinking skills. So what actually are these thoughts? Why are we talking about them? And how can you insert hot based questions in a question paper that is set for primary classes? So let's explore and find out all this through my PowerPoint presentation. Let's talk about hots in science for primary classes. How can we give hots based questions? As we know, according to Bloom's taxonomy, there are lots, they are low order thinking skills. They are remembering, understanding and applying. And we have high order thinking skills or thoughts as analyzing, evaluating and creating. Why are thoughts important for students? Why should you give thoughts based questions in a pen and paper test? To build deep understanding of the subject, to develop critical thinking skills and to apply the learned information to real life settings. Now some examples of hot based questions from general science. Question number one. See the two pictures given below. Identify the plants A and B. Both the plants have weak and thin stem. But what is the difference between the two? Here identification is a simple question as you have taught climbers and creepers to the students. So they can identify A is grapevine and B is pumpkin. Now what is the difference between the two? You have told them the features of climbers and creepers. So based on their knowledge they can tell that the first one is growing vertically or in height so and it's taking the support so it's a climber and the second case it's spreading its branches on the ground so it is a creeper correct the false statement given to you and rewrite as to one so you have not told the child here that what words are wrong in this statement Ribcage has seven pairs of ribs and protects organs like lungs and kidneys. For this, the child needs thorough knowledge about the ribcage and its functions. So ribcage has 12 pairs of ribs and it protects organs like lungs and heart and not kidneys. The child should know that kidneys are at a lower position in our body. Observe the picture and answer the following questions. This can be given for three marks. What is seen on the loaf of bread? So in the class you have taught about fungus or black bread mold. So this answer is simple. It is black bread mold or fungus. But the child has to observe the picture carefully. How can you see it better? Here the child can say with the help of a magnifying glass or a microscope. If the loaf of bread was kept in sunlight, what would have happened? So it's very important here to understand and know that fungus develops in presence of moisture. Since you are keeping the bread in sunlight, there will be no moisture. So the bread may become dry and probably there will be no fungus on the bread and texture of bread can become hard. Shreya is in third class. She looks weak and pale. She gets tired easily and doesn't even enjoy the game spirit. She gets infected frequently and is absent from the school for a few days almost every month. 
This question can be given for two marks. Can you guess the disease she has? Now, in the class, you have told the symptoms of anemia. So, a child should be able to guess here that disease is anemia. Deficiency of which mineral causes this disease? The answer is iron. Draw a concept map showing any five uses of flowers. When you have taught in the class five uses of flowers or uh, maybe more than that, suppose you have discussed 10 or more uses of flowers with your students. So a student should be able to draw or create a concept map like this. Classify the given animals into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Now a list of animals is there. The child can put in the right box which animals are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores depending on his understanding of the three terms. If you keep some bean seeds in a bowl in refrigerator for five days, will they germinate? Justify your answer. Now as a teacher or educator, when you have taught germination, you have told them the conditions which are necessary or required for germination. So one of the conditions is temperature or warmth. So in a refrigerator, since it's very low, the, it's very cool there, so the seeds will not germinate. If you really like the pink roses in your neighbor's garden, how can you grow them without buying seeds? This question is based on the concept of vegetative reproduction. So the pink roses which you like can be grown into your own garden by using the stem cutting. Create a food chain using the names of animals you see around yourself. So if uh, a student lives in a plain area or a hilly area, depending on the habitat or near water, then they can choose the animals accordingly and make a food chain, create a food chain like this. X is a gas that is used by animals to breathe in water and Y is a gas that is absorbed by plants during photosynthesis. X and Y are. So, based on their knowledge about photosynthesis and about breathing in aquatic uh, animals, a child can answer that the gas which is used by animals to breathe is oxygen and the Y Gas which is absorbed by plants during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide. So the correct option would be D, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Thank you so much for watching. Hope it will help you to develop more questions based on HOTS.